I'd say this is one of my favorite parts whenever you apply heat to the wood to actually bring the purple back out. You can see this is not really looking that purple anymore. The little dust down here is pretty purple, but this almost has like a brownish reddish to it. And I like the deep purple, so let's go ahead and turn this on to a lower speed. we'll take a heat gun like this, turn it on, and slowly apply the heat to the wood and you'll watch the purple actually come into the wood. I can start to see it there at the end starting to come on. It's tricky to get it right there on the end, that's the hardest part. We're going to go over it with a 600 grit finish because when you apply the heat it raises the grain and it's not going to be very smooth. You just need to quickly go over it with 600. This is when you really start to see that purple sawdust. It's crazy. If we look at that, you can see the purple in there, and that is really cool looking. I'll put some lacquer on. I have some in the small bottle here, so I can put it on controlled and just apply that to the wood. It really is amazing. Now we can go ahead and take this off of the lathe and start to assemble the pen. That looks really nice. I think Purple Heart goes with gold really well. And th these pen kits that I'm using are plated in 24 karat gold, so it looks really nice. Take those bushings out carefully. And one thing you want to make sure whenever you put the brass tube in, when you just drilled the blank, make sure you let the glue dry for 24 hours. <laughs> just because if you don't, the wood won't be like sealing to this brass tube enough. And when you go to lathe it, it'll just split into a bunch of pieces and you'll ruin your So blank. this pen really has turned out beautiful. I really am happy with the purple heartwood and that lacquer finish. And this turned out really nice. I can retract that bring it out and it's really smooth. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.